Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel you guys, Yancy here, alright, so happy Pride Month to you, 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 and you, whoever is celebrating, alright, listen, everybody's everybody, alright, so either which way, let's get the video started, alright, so this video is talking about the Gucci Pastel pre-fall 2020 line, alright, I know I'm late to the program, that is okay, like I said, the world has taken a tumble around us and it is what it is all right bear with me we're gonna go through this together so bottom line is yes i did see the pastel line i really liked it because i am a pink and purple type girl i think just when i saw those colors growing up or whatever like that i just really liked it i just gravitated to it or whatever even though i was a tomboy but it is what it is bottom line is i love 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 the pastel line um the blue color itself is what really just kind of like struck a chord with me because I remember when um, Chanel came out with their Tiffany blue line. I know they they do not like to have it be called that or whatever, but it is what it is. That's what people associate the color with. But either which way, I missed out on that. No one had it. Didn't want to buy a pre-love. I just kind of like forgot about it. So when Gucci came out with this pastel line, I saw it, I loved it, contacted my essay to talk about it, ask about it, and just kind of like see, you know, what all they had um, featuring these particular colors, whatever like that. So I will definitely put up some um, pictures, some stills or whatever, just to kind of show you the pastel line. So bear with me, you guys. But either which way, um, they had the pink pastel, they had the like, blue pastel, and they had like the yellow. Um, they also had a combination bag of all the colors, whatever. And that one's more expensive because, you know, it's all the colors, whatever. So either which way, I thought all of them were cute. I loved all of the colors. Um, but I think the blue and the um, pink kind of like stood out for me because they were just like that really soft pink and that really like baby blue um, color or whatever. So I really liked it. Um, I like the fact that it came in like three different, you know, sizes or three different styles or whatever. So um, with the styles itself, you have the medium size bag, which that bag can hold so much. You had the super mini. Um, and then of course you had a few accessories, wallets, stuff like that or whatever. Um, so all of the particular all of these particular bags and accessories and everything like that were all in the Marmont line. And like I said, I'll post a lot of pictures you guys can see. All right, so those all just kind of like did it for me. I love different colors. Um, of course, you guys know I love color itself. You know, I. I don't want to say I stare away from darker color bags, um, but I just think that there's so many black bags out there. Um, I try to go for things that are, you know, have a pop of color that's going to liven up my day or whatever like that. I don't care if it's a red, a blue, a green, a pink or whatever, you know, I just kind of like go for what I like. So these particular colors really kind of like, you know, captured, um, they caught my eye. So I really, really liked it. Um, I was looking at the super mini, I was looking at the um, shoulder bag and I have the shoulder bag already. Um, so I didn't want to kind of like, you know, look into that. So I kind of just looked at the line itself, you know, wasn't really sure if I was going to get anything, but I really didn't want to miss out on any of the pastel colors because I know like once it's gone, it's gone. Um, that's how it is. And a lot of times you just have to go and, you know, find it on the pre-love market. I think the thing about the pre-love market when it comes to the Gucci, um, they don't really hold their value. But with all that being said, I'm sure you're probably wondering, did I get a bag? Yes, I did. All right. And what did I get? You could probably tell by the size itself. But I got yes, I got the Gucci GG Marmont Super Mini bag. I actually always wanted this particular bag, you guys. I did so much research on it. I looked at so many videos, um, and it has so many different ways that you can wear this particular bag. Um, one being without the chain on it. 
um, like a clutch. As you can see, my hand is so small, so cute. Like literally it's fitting in one hand. So I definitely wanted this bag, but honestly, by the time um, I wanted to get it or even, you know, was thinking about it, all these bags were so hard to get. They were so just, it was impossible to try to get this super mini. Like everybody had it. I mean, I don't care who you were, you literally had this bag. So bottom line is this is the GG super mini bag. I'm glad I got it. I didn't want to pass it up because I also, like I said before, wanted the um, light blue color in the Chanel and I missed out on that and I didn't want to miss out on this. Um, the one thing that I don't like when it comes to this particular bag is that the chain, which of course, as you can see, is detachable and you would actually take the chains out from these day rings right here if you wanted to. But as you can see how it is right now, you can actually just stick it in and you're good to go. However, this particular bag does not have an adjustable strap. And you guys know I don't like that. But from all of the research that I've done, the strap itself is pretty long. Um, I'm about 5'4", and every single person that I've seen who's done a review on this bag, they're like 5'4", 5 5'2", 5 5 1". So they're short in size or whatever. And I think the, the tallest person that I've seen was like 5'7", five, 5'9". Five, and it still kind of like hit their hip or whatever. But to me, I think it really just depends on um, size when it comes to these chains that don't adjust or whatever like that. So for me, I feel like even though you're saying it works well for you, due to my size, a lot of times it still hits like right here, like where my like waist is or stomach or underneath my breast or whatever like that, and I don't like that. So it is what it is, I'll test it out, I'll see. Um, this little thing right here came like this. I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it, but I can see it because it's like looking at me, but I'll try to see if I can cut it without damaging it or whatever like that, but either which way. So I definitely got my hands on um, one of the pastel colors in the 2020 pre-fall um, line for this particular bag. And I'm glad I did because like I said, this bag has literally been on my wish list since forever so as you can see that's the inside there are no interior pockets whatsoever you kind of just put it in however you put it in um the cutest thing about it is it actually has this you know detachable as well but it has this um attachable you know key hook or whatever so like the fact that it says gucci right on there um you can easily clasp like a mini pochette your keys whatever it is um to that if you didn't want it to get lost but i think this bag is super cute out of all of the bags i own this literally is the smallest bag yes it has to be i don't think i have anything smaller than this and i mean honestly to tell you the truth um the pochette my mini pochette so if you can see yes this is a little bit bigger than the pochette but you guys it's not that much bigger in size you know what i mean i mean i can't you know stuff it probably the way i can stuff this gucci but i mean like i said look at the size so that's you know the best comparison that i can give you you know this is my louis vuitton mini pochette this is a gucci super mini so it's not that much bigger in size from it you can see a little bit of the width, you can see the height and everything like that. You can see the depth, but that's, I'm just trying to show you that's how small this particular bag is. I mean, of course, as you can see, it gets lost. But if I wanted to, I'm sure I can actually, honestly fit this in here and then just put everything in here if I wanted to kind of like protect the interior. But more than likely, I would literally just put everything in there by itself. That's my outlook on the Gucci Pre-Fall pastel color. And that is my new bag. And I love it. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I really do love it. Of course, like I said, I always love the Marmont line. I have so many bags in the Marmont line. I don't really think I have. I have one other bag, which is my Gucci um, Beast tote. And I love that tote. That's the only thing that's not like a Marmont line or whatever. But I always love the little heart detail on the bag. It's a love-or-hate thing. I've literally seen a lot of videos where people hate it. They really don't like it. They wish they would have put like a pocket back here. And a lot of people actually like it. And I am one of those people. I like the heart. I don't mind it. Um, I think it's cute. So yes, I'm gonna definitely rock this. Probably you guys will see a few pictures on my Instagram. So definitely follow me there if you're not following me. And 
while we're talking about it, you might as well subscribe. Just hit the button. It's like down there. Come on, you guys. You've been here for like forever. And you watch a few videos already, so you might as well just go ahead and just do that so we can be family. All right? So subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way every single time I upload, you will definitely be notified. Leave a comment below. All right? Like I said, subscribe. You might as well if you have not already. Almost to 1,000. Let's go. We can do it. I know we can. I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right? Bye. Bye.